Okay, welcome back everyone. This is Mr. Cat Eye. In today's report, I'm going to discuss something that I discussed the very day that Governor Abbott of Texas uh, ordered the Texas State Guard to monitor Jade Helm. I posted a remark to that video that's most likely available in my Google Plus because I always check Google Plus. But in that posting, I said something so far reaching that, uh, well, there have been some big people who have discussed it, or, or I should say have gone around my, my subject matter, uh, which tells me that if you're avoiding the subject matter and you're one of these people that truly wants to report what's going on, then you would report what's going on. And if you don't want to report what's going on, well, then there must be a reason why you don't want to tell anybody especially if you have a big platform, uh, why you wouldn't want to discuss this issue is, is a matter I'm getting ready to discuss. Okay. We know that Governor, Governor uh, Abbott of Texas ordered the State Guard to monitor Jade Helm. Now, this garnered a lot of support from Texas citizens who believe that he's doing exactly what he needs to be doing. Now, upon doing what he did, Immediately, the Democratic Party struck up a, a discrediting campaign to attack him. As you can see from this image over here to the left, uh, it started out with they were insulting him, at, demanding that he uh, apologize to the military special forces because he insulted them with his actions, inferring that the special forces people were up to nefarious and evil things. And of course, now you got generals and people demanding that he apologize. But it's all kabuki theater, people. It's distraction. Now, later the media, of course, picks up on, on, on uh, Governor Abbott's actions. And the media begins uh, interviewing uh, ex-politicians, politicians, politicians uh, other key people. And they more or less give Governor Abbott's actions as uh, that of a paranoia 
that he fell victim to the paranoia among his constituents and he shouldn't be doing what he's doing because it's all conspiracy it's all paranoia there's nothing to see here go back to sleep now okay first of all i did a little research on governor abbott and one of the most key and and most revealing elements uh, is that he is a george walker bush appointee in 1995 now I started looking into Governor Abbott in terms of that code, that ritual code that I always say is imbued into people, whether they know it or not. If they're going to be part of something big, well, the code kind of says it all along. Their life, their history, their marriage, things with the elections, numbers, all these numbers will, w- would show some sign of an involvement because the ritual code would be there to see. And if you recognize the ritual code, then you could infer or come to the suggestion that I'm getting ready to discuss because I know that Governor Abbott's actions and the way the media and the other political parties picked up on it to try to discredit him in the way that they did I contend is staged theater but to understand the conspiracy over well why would it be staged theater why would Governor Abbott be a, a red herring well, okay. First of all, he's a politician. He has and he serves key interest, corporate business interest in Texas. Let's not forget that. Irrespective of what people think about him, I would tell you that, of course, he's married to a Mexican-American uh, descendant of uh, full-fledged Mexican immigrants. Uh, she is, in fact, uh, because of Governor Abbott, Abbott winning the, the governorship, she in essence, is the first Latin American first lady of Texas. Now, they have a a daughter who is adopted, and, well, uh, he's a lawyer in terms of career. He's been on the Texas Supreme Court, which is where Bush appointed him to in 1995. He was a Texas uh, state attorney general, which kind of greased the skids for his political career that has taken him to the governorship. And is there more? Well, I believe there is. And when I commented in my Jade Helm, my three-prong invasion video where I talked about what I saw, that the the CIA is controlling the military elements on one side, they're controlling ISIS, the terrorist group on the other side, and the way they've designed, because of the Walmart stores and everything, they've designed a battlefield. A battlefield that is going to allow, I guess, ISIS or some foreign element to invade, only to be attrited and defeated. And whoever leads that that victory will probably be the next president of the United States of America, somewhere along the line. Now, I said that, and some very astute people in the bigger the bigger stations uh, that do this for a living, they picked up on what I said and called it rather smart, but they wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. Because, you see, it's not about telling the truth. Because for someone to explain to you the conspiracy I'm getting ready to discuss, you have to know a little bit about Texas, uh, about the things that went on. I've tried to, to mention the fact that when Rick Perry was governor of Texas, prior to Governor Abbott, um, he asked for the gold bullion from the Federal Reserve to be returned to Texas. Now, the Federal Reserve told them that it was unsafe and not secure to move it, and they were going to give them digital dollars at current value for the gold. Well, that's, that's BS. You see, Texas wanted that gold and wants that gold in order to, as a republic, to be able to generate and begin their own currency. Now, should the gold ever be returned and Texas be allowed to do anything that they have planned on doing with the gold, then it would undermine the Federal Reserve and the World Bank. It would definitely undermine the federal government that's being led by Zionist elements, and not only in our financial sector, but in our government sector. And so when Rick Perry did all that, uh, I realized he was butting heads with Obama. He was butting heads with the federal government. So for the Fed uh, to tell Rick Perry what, what they told him with regard to the gold, uh, I really don't know what they what they resolved after my initial investigation into it. But I realized that that gold was key and critical to something political that's going on within Texas. And if you followed that uh, that 
conspiracy theory of what they Texas openly states they want to do with their gold once they get it, you would realize that the holders of gold in Texas, those with the largest uh, poundage, tonnage of gold, would become very, very wealthy, separate from the Federal Reserve and the World Bank. And what this meant to me, and I stated long ago, is that that effort that Rick Perry was trying to do, I knew, would have eventually, had it succeeded, would have allowed the Bushes to become more rich, more powerful than the Rothschilds. Okay? Now, that's just how much wealth is in the gold that I believe the Bushes have accumulated illegally over many, many years of criminality. Uh, but nonetheless, they in Texas, with Texas being their their homeland, their country, their republic, once the currency would have been started, the Bushes, being the holders of so much gold, would have would in effect become the, the richest men in the world at that time. Now I tell you this only because that's you know if you hold as much gold as people theorize the Bushes have stolen, well then that you're into the multi multi trillions trillions of dollars. So. I mentioned that because, you see, that's just one element. Now, you get some other political elements. Um, gun rights. Texas is uh, open carry. They, they support gun rights. The citizens are for it. Texas is an entirely different breed of state. So to understand as a result of Jade Helm that Texas was declared hostile, well, it made sense to me. But the very day, and I say but, the very day that Governor Abbott did with, anyway, when Governor Abbott ordered the state guard to monitor Jade Helm, the very day he did so, I was finishing up that three-prong invasion video. And so I immediately assessed Governor Abbott's actions a whole different way because of what I was just into with regard to these Walmart closures, the ley lines, and understanding this invasion possibility in terms of it's structured and laid out to support an invasion, to support a foreign element coming and doing things within an area specified where they can contain them, supposedly, and defeat them. Now, I knew that was, that was very viable the day that I said it, and it's even more viable now because I'm going to repeat very quickly, what I believe the conspiracy is with regard to Governor Abbott's actions as it relates to Jade Helm. Now, I guess it, in a nutshell, it would go like this. While there are those that think uh, that, especially those politicians that are cr criticizing Governor Abbott of Texas, they're crit criticizing him and his actions with regard to the Texas State Guard to belittle his actions. Now, because of his actions, of course, to, s to send the Texas State Guard has infuriated many elements within the government. Now, I contend everyone's current media play are all part of a big deception. Now, you, you see, you, you would need opposing media and political types to demean and attack Governor Abbott's actions in order to give, give credibility to his cover story and to his actions. Now, the cover story is that he is sending at the behest of his demanding citizens, constituents in Texas. He is sending the Texas State Guard to monitor Jade Helm. Now, I don't believe that for one second, but there's a reason why. Now, in such a way, okay, it keeps anyone from realizing uh, what Governor Abbott did regarding the Texas State Guard was not for the reasons he stated to the public, but which is in complete and full cooperation with Jade Helm and the government so as to preposition State Guard elements were needed to augment certain zones and sectors of Texas without drawing public attention uh, and or the many questions that would ensue if Governor Abbott moved state guard elements without some official story which everyone would buy, uh, which includes all those that would then also then subsequently attack him for what he did. It's all a red herring. Now, they distract you with one hand when we should be watching the other, but in such a way, Jed, Jed Helm and the actions of Governor Abbott, are, in my opinion, are in sync, in mutual agreement, because it appears that, uh, well, they are in mutual agreement for the conspiracy no one really wants to talk about, because, you see, his actions to send the state guard were to augment those other military elements that are in Texas in areas, zones, or sectors where they're going to be needed, and for what? a coming invasion 
into Texas. Now, there are those that, you know, don't think an invasion is possible. Oh, I've seen a lot of videos and, and gone through a multitude of Jade Helm and other conspiracy types who want to create a conspiracy where there is none. If I create a conspiracy, I'm creating it because, first of all, I'm going to show you the elements that allow me to think what I'm thinking. And since I deal with a code, that's the one thing that I would tell you that, uh, well, uh, Governor Abbott is loaded with code. So I know he's a player, whether he knows he's a player or not, which means he's where he is doing exactly what he's required to be doing as part of the play that he may not know. But I believe he would, because you see, in order in order for uh, Governor Abbott to to do what he did, uh, it, it only stands to reason that the CIA or the government in some way, shape or form would have asked and requested his assistance, but not openly. They would have probably given the conspiracy the way it was meant to be played out. Go send them uh, based on the demand of your constituents. Say it's merely to monitor them. This way no one will ask questions. Most people would think Governor Abbott's doing the right thing. His constituents in Texas are going to think, man, this governor's doing what, what's right, by golly. We ain't going to let Jade Helm and the government come in here and take, take nothing. You see, but it's all fake. It's all baloney. It's all staged. Because, see, Governor Abbott is a red herring. I believe he's a player, and the role he's playing is to provide cover and distraction for why he sent state guard troops Though the, what he stated, he why why he's sending them isn't really why he sent them, but they can't tell us that, because you see, if they're truly preparing for an invasion and prepositioning pre troops, you see, they're not prepositioning them at the border of Mexico, where you think they would. No, they're, they're they've gone all the way up into Oklahoma, you know, because those those things, uh, all these Walmart stores covered covered uh, four states, five stores from Florida all the way to California. Texas uh, had two stores in Texas, and and of course Oklahoma, Tulsa, and uh, and then of course the ISIS camp, which which I found out later, uh, which is near El Paso. And once I realized it was a strategic point where this ISIS camp was located, that I realized the this invasion possibility, this three prong invasion plan. Because you see, if in fact they use nukes in these locations. Uh, as false flag elements. Uh, many people, many people, uh, I believe a lot smarter than me, are uh, sticking to the idea that if in fact there is a, a some type of impact disaster that occurs, that uh, the troops are positioned, prepositioned, not only for an invasion, but they're prepositioned away from where the tsunami is going to inundate the east and or Gulf Coast areas. Because even the Walmart store that's located in in Texas, north of Houston, okay, that particular store, based on a tsunami that would travel, would, in other words, these markers, they're, they're markers for many things, and aside from an invasion, uh, which I believe really is what is really what's at stake here, is that it may be staged theater, but they're going to carry out some type of plan that appears to be an invasion with possible nukes that they blame on the foreign invaders. Could be ISIS, could be anybody. But I've, I've heard enough about other people who don't believe that an invasion is possible because there would be signs and telltale clues. Like even I understand, you know, if you're going to uh, marshal uh, Chinese or Russian or Cuban forces in Mexico or somewhere, you know, they, they gotta they gotta get somewhere offload and then prepare, and that's why we have government satellites. And if our NSA doesn't know what's going on in Mexico, then what the hell are we using them for? Because what they're in essence saying is we're gonna allow an invasion to occur so we can stop the invasion and pretend we're the victors and and you know and beat the drums and and allow somebody who because you see. Let's say, for instance, everything I'm talking about comes true, that there is some limited, small-scale invasion with nuclear false flags that declares that allow, requires a national emergency, martial law, and all the things. And let's say the enemy is defeated within the confines of, of, the, of the area defined for where this combat's going to take place, which is below all of these Walmart stores. And so once they're defeated, Governor Abbott, 
will be viewed as a hero. He will be the hero of Texas, and if he's instrumental in helping stop an invasion into America, because Texas seems to be catching the biggest brunt, it's the biggest open area, and of course that's where Jade Helm is predominantly planning their exercises in Texas. So once you start bringing certain elements together, aside from the ritual code that I follow, I know, at least down deep inside, I know that the very actions of Governor Abbott of Texas are not consistent with what he states they're for. And so, ergo, just because I understand he's a Bush appointee, uh, tells me he's a player. He didn't get there by not knowing somebody. And if Bush appointed him, you see, Bush, uh, the cabal is in charge of that time travel technology that I contend they they can view for, for many years ago, long before you know many of us were aware of a grand conspiracy. They could use that technology when someone was born to realize what their future was going to be and to help to help steer the future of these individuals into the positions that they would ultimately achieve so that they could be used in a much grander game of, of a conspiracy that no one would ever perceive, let alone understand because of the complexity in the conspiracy. But it is my contention, in a nutshell, and let me just close this out, that Governor Abbott is a red herring and he's working in cooperation with the government and with Jade Helm not in opposition. And he I don't believe for one second he's sending these state guard troops there to monitor them. I believe he's sending them he's sending them to where he's going to need them to augment military certain zones and sectors. He's, they're feeding intelligence, you know, obviously to uh, Governor Abbott and he responded to it obviously. But I'm sure they asked for his cooperation and he being a player that he is, if they asked him to keep it quiet and, and they probably told him the whole story, we want you to do it this way. We'll distract with media and attacks so you can expect all that. But it'll just be your typical superficial type of political attacks. You know, nothing personal. Well, that's okay. Because I see it for what it is. A red herring. Governor, Governor Abbott is not playing straight with the Texas, Texas public. I don't believe one bit. He's not, you know. Now, if he's doing what he's doing because he thinks he has to keep the secret of an invasion from the public to not create panic or to not let the enemy know that they're, I mean, if you were the enemy, based on everything that's been going on on YouTube, wouldn't you know uh, some of these conspiracy theories that are out there? Oh, hell yeah. They got armies of people scanning people's channels, picking picking ideas and, and realizing, oh, someone's on to this and someone's on to that. So they know who's who and they know who's on to what. And they know that I'm on to this and have been on to this ever since the very day Governor Abbott declared, said he was going media-wise and ordering the Texas State Guard to monitor Jade Helm. Once he did that, because of the three-prong invasion video that I had just finished, it clicked in my head. I stated what I stated, but I realize now I'm having to repeat myself because this needs to be out there. You see, for those Texans that believe that Governor Abbott is doing exactly what they think he should be doing, they're being deceived. He's doing exactly what the government and Jade Helms requiring of him. And I believe if you were to look into where those state Texas guards are being deployed, mix it in and review it relative to where the Jade Helm troops are going to be, according to their own uh, plan, I think you'll see that the Texas State Guard was sent to augment Jade Helm military forces in those areas where Texas State Guard can help out. And so that, in a nutshell, is my red herring discussion. Now, like it or not, I had to get it out there and I had to repeat it for, for those of you that you may have heard it before, but you need to see it from the perspective of Gov Governor Abbott. His actions are not being honest. They're not honest because he's working, I believe, in cooperation with the government and Jade Helm. Now, if he's doing that because he thinks he's doing it for the health and welfare and safety of the public at large, well, that's a noble, but I, he's not a stupid man. He didn't get to be governor of Texas by being a dumbass, okay? And so, if he doesn't know he's being played, I don't believe it for one second. He's playing, he's playing along to go along, because you see, if Texas is invaded 
and the forces attacking Texas are defeated and the Texas State Guard and the Jade Hound forces are there and they clean up the enemy and everyone declares victory, this man, Governor Abbott, will de be declared a national hero. And then all of those people that undermined him and tried to attack him will look like they have egg on their face. They're going to look like blithering assholes. Why? Because they, they took an opposition to this man's stance that everyone was for. His people are for what he did. And as long as no one knows that he did what he did in cooperation with Jade Helm okay, and the government, if everything follows suit, Texas is invaded and Texas defeats the enemy, this man will be a national hero in the sight of everyone. And that just means that he's being greased for a presidential opportunity. When? I don't know. But mark my words, if Texas is invaded and the enemy is defeated, Governor Abbott will be a national hero, not only to Texans, but to those that would view that would view his actions as a governor, as those that, by golly, he, he did what he needed to do. But you see, few people are probably going to talk later when the victory is declared and the enemy is defeated. Uh, I doubt that you never know. I mean, he could come forth and say, I did keep, uh, you know, from the public the secret because, you know, for whatever reason, to protect public safety, pr prevent panic and to prevent the enemy from knowing their plans. Uh, it, it's going to be easy to swallow, and people would be easy to forgive him if he came forth and did that after the fact. Because, you see, when you're a national hero, and you did the right thing, you defeated ISIS, and, you know, and your Texas State Guards were there to, to do their part, along with other military forces, they're going to milk, milk that cow for the, all the victory they can get. And it would just put Governor Abbott in a position for the future that I hope you're seeing it because you see if you follow the conspiracy it has to obviously lead somewhere it's not just an invasion and blowing up some some cities or locations as part of an invasion now that's gonna happen and if it does well people have been talking that it's going to happen so I'm not the only one saying it's a possibility but I think the real the real deal here is that Governor Abbott is a red herring uh, doing exactly what he's being told to do, just like Obama is a Zionist puppet, I really believe that Governor Abbott is a puppet as well, being played by the same people that control both sides. Both parties are controlled. Our government is controlled by elements that use these people as pawns. They play them. They use them. They tell the lies. They, they sell the story to make you believe it. And then later, should the truth be known, they hide behind their lies. They either won't address the, the, the truth of anything. But in this particular case, if Texas gets invaded and the enemy is defeated, which I believe they will be, then Governor Abbott will become a Texas hero for history, in the history books, and would then obviously be elevated to the lofty possibility of running for president. Once again, from where? From Texas. And who is his secret backer who obviously found something in him that he wanted to help him propel his career? The Bushes. Texas is Bush country. And anyone who forgets that the Bushes are in Texas, they got compounds, they got all kinds of things, okay? Now, that's pretty much it. I wanted you to hear it from me because obviously no one else is going to say what I just said. Governor Abbott is a red herring. If you remember that and listen to why I think he's a red herring, you may come to the same conclusion. But if you don't, no big deal. We're going to find out one way or the other. I know this without a doubt. And even though there may not be no internet, may not be no communication like we know of today, sooner or later, if we're alive to, to, to know the truth, I think we'll find out that Texas defeated ISIS and uh, Governor Abbott was declared, you know, a national hero for his wise decision to do what he did when he did. And so, because you see, to send troops to say you're monitoring and to then invert the role to protecting because they're already there, people are going to see that as brilliant. But few people are going to see it as a red herring. It was intentional. It was intentionally designed 
to come about the exact way you're seeing it because it's psychological warfare at its best. And so in the world of black on black where secrets are really kept and certain things are fed to the public to feed you a certain mindset, just remember what they sold you in Governor Abbott's actions were undermined. And the moment they began attacking what he did, I knew something was up. And it just took me a while. And, of course, that three-prong invasion is what allowed me to realize that his actions on the day he ordered the Texas State Guard to do what they did, I said, wait a minute. He's either truly going to monitor Jade Helm or, in secret, he's sending the Texas State Guard to augment military forces in certain zones or sectors that are obviously been communicated to him, and this is why he's doing what he's doing. But to expect him to tell us this anytime soon, I don't believe so. Uh, the war, the invasion is going to have to take place and all, all the aftermath. But ultimately, he's either going to tell us the truth or he'll hide behind and never ever come forth admitting that he was in with the government and the military in order to do what he did. Now, I don't know how that could go, but I had to tell you the red herring conspiracy so that you could hopefully grasp what it's all about. It's complex, and uh, anybody who thinks these conspiracies are simple, just this or that, no, you, these people don't have a clue. These, con these conspiracies are very in-depth, layered, layered like an onion, and the fact that uh, George Bush was involved in this was, for me, the key clue, and once I started looking at the code in uh, Governor Abbott, yeah, I knew, I knew what I, I found out what I needed to find out, which is why I did this video. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for considering. Till next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.